Hi friends, in this video, we will create multi-dependent drop-down list on every row. In my previous video, that multi-dependent drop-down list is for only one row. As you can see, now we want multi-dependent drop-down list on every row. For this, we use only one formula and that formula is combination of offset and match formula. What is offset formula? You can go this video. In this video, you can learn offset formula. Now let's start our main topic of this video. Now question is, how can I create multi-dependent data validation lists on the same sheet? There are different approaches to get our desired result, but I'm going to show you one single formula that gets the job done. Now you can see this data set. Here we are going to create our dependent drop down list. First choice is to select company name, and second choice is to select an item. Now the item choice that we are going to get here is based on the company that selected right here. You can see in dataset company listed on top and these are items that belongs to each company. Now first we create company name drop down list. Select this cell, click on data tab and go to data validation. Select list from here and click on this arrow and select the range and press enter and click OK. Now you can see company name drop down list. Just copy this control plus C select cell and paste here control V. Now you can see company name drop down list on every row. Now move to critical part of this topic. We create drop down list here in this cell that is based on this selection. Here we use offset formula right is equal to offset bracket start first argument is reference point for this we select this cell and press f4 one time to fix row and column now into comma second argument is row how many rows we move down we enter here one zero reference point and one we enter that means we are in the cell right below the reference point enter comma third argument is column how many columns do i want to move across it depends on the company name if we select HP company, we cannot move from here. If we select Samsung, now we can move 4 columns. To get that number, I am going to use the match formula. First argument is lookup value. We select this cell and press F4 3 times to only fix column enter comma for lookup array we select this range and press one time f4 to fix the range enter comma for exact match we select zero close bracket match formula is different as compared to offset formula. In offset, we start 0 
वन टू थ्री फोर एंड इन मैच फॉर्मूला वी स्टार्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ टू मैच दिस थिंग हेयर वी इंटर माइनस वन इंटर कॉमा इफ वी इंटर वन हाइट एंड वन वेथ एंड क्लोज ब्रैकेट एंड प्रेस इंटर we are here in this cell if we select samsung in company name we are here in this cell you can see here only one cell return now here is our next challenge we want all list of item not only one item in first list we have nine item six is for dell Kingston has four items. LG has six, and Samsung has eight item, respectively. Now we have empty cell in our drop-down list. If in hype argument we enter nine and press F nine, you can see in list we have. Zero. Now control Z and copy this, and press Escape button to leave. Go to data validation. Select list and paste here, and press OK. Now you can see empty space at the end. If we select other company name and check item list, we found empty spaces at the end. Except for HP company item list because we enter nine in height argument and HP company has nine items. So now let's deal with those empty ones. Select this cell, go to data validation. We need to get this part of the formula that we fixed to zero nine. we need to get that part dynamic so let's find a formula that provide us a correct count select this cell we know for tax count we use counter formula right is equal to counter bracket start select range and press enter you can see result we need to do this dynamically for this here we again use offset formula fix reference point enter 1 for row comma for column we again use the match formula lookup value select this cell fix only column for lookup array select this range and fix this enter comma 04 exact match close bracket minus 1 for correct position of offset formula for height i will give here 15 because in future if i add new items same formula work close bracket press enter now if we select company name dell You can see six here. If we select Kingston, here we show four. If we select Samsung, you can see eight. So now my count formula is dynamic. Control C, copy this formula. Select this cell and go to data validation. And here we carefully place nine with this formula. and click okay now check the items drop down list extra spaces remove you can see formula is working perfectly unwanted spaces are now fixed now copy and paste this data validation list like this you can see multi dependent drop down list on every row
if you want to hide this cell you can select this cell go to font color in home tab and select white color practice this if you have any problem or any question write in comment box i will reply if you like this video please subscribe and like I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.